This is the federal courthouse. Officers say they're here to protect. There is damage, and protesters are staged right across the street. Today, the acting secretary of Homeland Security said he is prepared to pull his officers out when the violence ends. Nora? Carter Evans, thank you. And there is still much more news at home to CBS Evening. We're going to pass the We're just gonna block the door with this.
Picking up munition. Like a fracture made, they should call the bullets. All up to the ground. Yeah, and then these, they're shooting at us with literal shotguns. Whoa. These are uh, beanbag rounds. You can kind of see right here where it says beanbags. They're shooting at us with shotguns. They're not live rounds, these are beanbag rounds. But they're still shooting at us with fucking shotguns, dude. Have found any other what, what else did yeah, you find? Up. Okay, you guys want to see my munitions or it? Fuck yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this is a foam round. It shot out of a 40 millimeter. Here, I'm just going to put them all on the ground right here. We're going to do the same thing we did yesterday. Let's gather right here on the corner. Yeah. All right. Something else is out Yeah, okay, cool. Perfect. Uh, Where's more of the black one? Uh, these are impact batons, so they fire these directly at people. They uh, fire them out of 40 millimeter launchers. These are fired out of the shotgun. Those are beanbag rounds. This is another foam impact munition that's shot out of the 40 millimeter. Then in my bag, I got some more. There was yellow ones earlier tonight. What are these? The, are yeah, the, uh, the orange ones I know are OC. They have okay. OC on them. Okay. All right. So in okay. here, I got. Right on. Hey, I appreciate you, my man. Thank you very this much. This is the Han ball. This uh, shoots. Rubber bullets, yeah, rubber man. bullet grenade, and I think the Han ball specifically. Really? I'm not sure, but you can look it up on Defense Technologies website. I think it has CS also inside of this one. Um, and then right here we have Federal Riot Control CS gas, the big boys. What's this one over here? That's like is this, is this one. This is part of a triple chaser. So it, there's three separate canisters on it. And then a charge on top like this, and then when they throw it, all three of them explode. Well, that's what those like bangs are. Whenever they throw them on the ground. This one is uh, CS smoke, so that's smoke and CS gas. These are all. Well, let me make sure real quick. These are short range CS smoke. Um, yeah, let's see the manufacturer 2020. Not sure about this one. I found one of these yesterday with a manufacture date of 2001. That's 14 years past the expiration date. I also got two more in here. This is a full rubber bullet baton. Rubber baton. Impact baton. Which one that? 16101. Hey, do you have a round that messed up? Uh, I forget his name, sorry. I remember his name. Which one I got shot in the head, right? Which round? Oh, okay. at, at, oh, riot ribs? At the corner of the park. No, the guy that no, only had his boombox, right? He got shot in the head. Um, those I don't have any of those right here right now. The one right, that uh, right. he got hit with uh, something that was similar to this, except rubber. It was. It may have been one of these. I don't yeah, think it was okay. one of the. I don't okay. think it was one of these, but it was shot out of the same weapon that shoots these. The right. one that uh, Donovan got shot with. Yes, sir, I'm so appreciative of you. Thank you very much, my man. You're if awesome. any of you guys touch any of these munitions, do not touch your face. Yeah. Yeah, but this is war. That's great, but this is also people. largely an anti-cop protest. There are many different groups out here that all kind of intertwine together. Right. This, what you're looking at, is literal police brutality. Don't lie to yeah, people. This is not a oh, okay. We have, We're fighting against we have media here. Yeah. 
You're definitely not gonna get good broadcast if you're gonna just say yeah. No, for real, I'm not gonna allow it straight up. Like, like, say, don't let him get a shot. If I'm sorry, bro. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Dude, this is all my shit, so I'm gonna. I don't know which news station is out here. Police brutality. Yes, it is. Black Lives Matter. You want your shot? Get up here when the action is happening. You get tear gas. You get tear gas. All of these independent journalists have been out here getting tear gas and shot at. Not you guys. Come back when the action is happening and stop fucking lying to people. It's got a press pass, those bad. Glad I got the Clayton fuckers, though. Do your job. Glad I wasted your time. Get out of here. All right, so I was trying to wrap up the stream, but apparently we do have a fire burning right here. We're on Salmon and I think 4th. Yeah, Salmon and 4th. Fire burning here. And media being chased away but it looks like they're moving to a different location in the park I don't know which media outlet this is So there, there's this news crew still trying to film here. And I don't know if protesters are going to let them. All right, maybe it's national CBS. Coming, coming up in the middle of the night and then, you know, Straight trying up. to gather fucking, you know, bullshit stories. And Straight then, up. Yeah, they're fucking over there trying to take pictures of all the shit we collected of the ammunition that they fired against us and shit. And they're like, it's just taking... You say, know, and then they're making us this stuff. Right. Exactly. Do you think you can just come at four in the morning and fucking portray a shot like it's... Yesterday, it, yesterday it was CNN who was here who tried to do the same, you know, in that corner. <laughs> this and I'm not sure. This is CBS. Yeah. CBS. Fuck your shot, dude. I know. I'm going to wrap up my street. Okay. Do you want to be part of the interview? Yeah, okay. I mean, this is CBS. I have some two people now. I gotta wrap up my story. Hey, can we get paid? Like, you know, we're getting paid. I'm going back over to that fire. Sure. You know, I'm telling, honestly. <laughs> What are you doing? What, what agency are you with? <laughs> CBS. Alright, cool. <laughs> we just want to know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, so, so you're going to be aggressive, alright? No, not be aggressive. All right. We're just participating with you. Can we have a voice in the media? Can we go talk this to This is a live shot. I offered everybody an opportunity over there. You guys yelled at me and pushed me away, so now I'm over here and you followed me. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have, this is a public court. park. This you're right, you're right. You're right. You can be here. You're welcome. Go ahead. Please don't. don't. <laughs> Did you ask everybody? Did you ask everybody if they could be in the shot? I don't I don't think you did. You guys know what you're doing. How come you guys actually don't come out here when it's going on, though? Yeah. I was, yeah, I was, I was, I was the other. Yeah, I'm here fucking prime time. That's how you get a prime time oh. action shot? Yeah, why are you here when it's going on? Why are you getting your dad with us? Really yeah, I mean, we do get up there and grab these munitions ourselves after we've been... If you check the news... Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this is the key. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I can shit fire at him. Yeah, I don't kick it back, though. That's a grab. That's the hard one. We are out here a lot. Dude. You guys make a lot of money off of it. We want to work. We do too. Everything's right. We just are going to give you a rate. He says NBC News. <laughs> that woman said CBS. The woman with the backpack? Yes, I have it on camera. <laughs> huh? So that's kind of strange then. Let's ask them. <laughs> Okay, now we're being told this is CBS, not NBC. I don't know. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Well, because of you guys, it doesn't get out at all. They killed us. So thank you, everyone. See you later. Okay, very welcome. We're doing it for you, man. Even though you don't think so. Every second of it. Can you tell us what story you wanted to tell? Watch it on the news. Oh, I'm sorry. You're such a fucking big shot. You can't fucking talk to people like they're normal people. You can't fucking say what you're trying to do, you fucking prick. Get the fuck out of here, then. There you go. I don't know if you guys wanted to see that at the end of this broadcast or not. We were in the process of wrapping up our stay here in Portland. And we're telling you what we saw. Annabelle, come on. I mean, if, if you want to film them, go for it. But I'm... I'm wrapping it up over here. I don't know if this fire is even still here. I was going to finish the wrap up right in front of the fire. I heard from a couple people. They're NBC. Heard from one. They're CBS. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. The fire is still here. <laughs> the woman, the older lady said she is from CBS. That's yeah, I think I heard two CBS, one NBC, but... Anyway, here's this fire still burning by the corner of Salmon and Forth. Ugh. All right. Gonna flip the camera around. All right, there's the fire in the background. We've already discussed uh, what we saw here. Gave you somewhat of a synopsis of what we saw from 
the protester side, what we saw from the officer side, the officers being the feds, and let you know a little bit about how this contrasts to our experience here a few weeks ago, which was much different and did not involve these violent confrontations, but did involve protesters giving us treatment some protesters, I should say, treatment not too dissimilar from what you just saw with that news crew. Granted, it, it didn't play out <laughs> that way. We just were being pressured and somewhat threatened to not film action going on at the city hall and, and elsewhere. But uh, protesters were not chasing us away this time around. That's something I'm very grateful for. Because I think we got to show you a whole lot of what's going on here in Portland. And I think we picked a, a good three days to do so. Or three nights, I should say, to do so. Do you have any last words? Well, as I said, I also find it awkward for mainstream media that they are coming in the middle of the night after all the action is gone and then trying to ask people what's information. I mean, the last words about our oh. experience in Portland, about mainstream media. Portland, yeah, I said, it's, you know, that the cops or federal marshals or whatever are saying he aggressive also to innocent people, like I said. I was shot two nights ago um, as I was in an intersection. I didn't do anything and I just pointed out that there are people on the balcony elevation and then they pointed their guns at me and hit me several times times with, with pepper bullets, pepper balls. Little balls or whatever my legs, you can see the pictures on my um, Facebook it's Romika Annabelle R-O-M-I-K-A A-N-N-A-B-E-L-L -N -N -E and that's your YouTube channel as well, Romika Annabelle and I'll put that in the description after this video processes on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I'm grateful that we were able to see what we see, see what we saw, give you an up close and personal look at what's happening here in Portland. Sometimes that involves burning stuff. Although this fire doesn't seem to be bringing out the officers the way one or two fires right outside the courthouse did. There was a fire in front of the courthouse earlier today and it was right next to a tree but the protesters decided, you know, that they don't want to burn trees so they put the fire out but uh, the well, soldiers still came out. From this. Yeah, well, go figure. We're, we're always getting chased off by smoke. But I, I just like to reiterate one more time that in the coming days and weeks, I'll work on getting out clips of the highlights of the footage that we captured here in Portland and uploading them as individual videos on the YouTube channel. So we have a I, lot of tools. I have so much footage. I think I need a week on it to look through it and get all the clips together. But then I understand most of you aren't watching entire five or six hour streams, and sometimes it's hard to figure out when exactly. There were uh, clashes between police and protesters when the, the uh, pepper balls were being fired, when people were getting gassed out of a hole, when uh, uh, tear gas is being sprayed everywhere. So we'll work on getting clips uploaded as individual videos. I think that's a wrap from Portland. I'm very glad we were able to make this trip happen glad you guys were able to tune in and get to see a whole lot of action in a short amount of time granted these are these have been three late nights in portland okay tschüss yeah that means bye in german yes thank you very much again for everyone who's tuned in everyone who's been participating commenting and helping out in any way shape or form with the broadcast that is a wrap from downtown and smoky portland oregon see you sometime soon live and on the ground somewhere in the world goodbye for now and see you soon